Hi, everyone. Pam Friedman, Certified Divorce Financial Analyst, um, doing our 30 tips in 30 days. Today, I want to talk about negotiations. S negotiations, they're not something you just think about when you're in a mediation or in other, any kind of other form of how you're going to get your divorce done. Mediation is a great way to resolve issues so long as you know what negotiating tactics might be used by the other side and you know how to use them if they make sense for you. One negotiation tactic, tactic from my side as a financial planner and a financial professional and divorce financial analyst is to really think about how these accounts are not necessarily valued on a lawyer's spreadsheet at the balance that it absolutely was on the statement. That's because many accounts either can't be withdrawn without taxes or can't be withdrawn at all in terms, until a certain age, say 59 and a half for an IRA. And even when you do withdraw, there are taxes. If you withdraw earlier on an IRA, you're gonna have a 10% penalty. That's just one very small example of an account that could have sort of these hidden tax costs. So what I see in a lot of times is these attorneys will discount at a rate, they just kind of pick a rate that they think is based on what, what their client is paying in taxes and they discount that account. Well, if you receive discounted assets, you're gonna get more of the rest of the spreadsheet because that's valued lower. On your side, you want the things that are discounted. You don't want the other side to have things that are discounted or have a disproportionate amount of assets that are discounted on their side for those kinds of activities. So be very careful in the math that's being used in your negotiation. This one tip could save you lots of money in your divorce so long as you can recognize it being used and also possibly use it. The rate that's used can also be changed too high, too low, depending on the situation. And is it really the rate that we should be using? And that's why uh, you want to think financially in these negotiations. You can get a little bit more without being a gold digger or Don Juan or whatever you want to call yourself. You know, without being a gold digger, you're really just saying, hey, does this make logical sense from a math point of view? So give that negotiation, that's just one technique, some real thought. And um, we will see you back here for more of 30 Tips in 30 Days from Financially Fit Divorce. Thanks.